welcome, welcome, welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 11th of July, we've got new mods, we've got some updates too. The Valzelli Cubex by MirrorZ, the Bergman Carex 370S by Schnibble Modding, the MAN Brantner Pack by HR Forst und Fazoigbau, and the new Cowshed by Bartson V3 have all had updates. We have got a pack of fences by Pysel in front of me, 14.25 megabytes download. These are one slots, three slots, and four, one of them is four slots. There are 15 different fences, there are three different gates and one door, which is a pedestrian gate for all intents and purposes. They are nicely made and detailed, including rust and, I mean, they, they really do look fantastic. So, what did I say it was 15, did I? So we've got that one there, this one chain link next to it, then this one. The level of, honestly, the detail on them is, is brilliant. And we've got the concrete slab section wall. Now this one was a full section. When I went to delete, it does allow you to delete in separate sections. Um, so you can take a chunk out if you decide you've got something wrong. So that one, uh, five slabs up. That one is four, but slightly wider. Then we've got three with that top. Flat top. That one's slightly arched. That one with the, that design in the middle of it. Well, it's like an eye, I suppose, really, isn't it? That kind of... Anyway. <laughs> that one with the curve inwards on the top. Slightly larger railing section. That one like that. This one a lot more weathered, a lot more dirty. Chipped and damaged. But again, level of detail on these. Absolutely fantastic. Then we've got the sort of plaster cover ones, but again... Cracked, damaged, plaster come off. This one a bit more um, sort of algae, mould growth and stuff on it as well. Then we move on to the gates. Now the gates do have the option to change colour as well when you go to place them. So the first one like that. Then this one is the second one. Again, arbitrary numbers, they're just the order they're in. That's the third gate. And then this is the door. Which is, like I say, it's a pedestrian gate. If you want to put one in a wall or... Okay, wherever you want to put one. You can put one in the middle of a field if you want to. That's in in entirely your choice. Under build mode, under decoration, under fences. So they all start off at 60. But obviously, depending on the length of fence you do. So if I go for, for example, a concrete one. The price will go up, depending on how long the sections you want. They work exactly the same as any other fences. Vineyards and things we've got in game. You can change the angles, bring them back round on themselves and then you can stop wherever you want actually. so whenever you're done you can just press finish and that's it, we'll put the end post on, you're good to go you can add on other sections fences, gates, now I did have an issue if I scroll across to yeah normally gates and stuff will hook straight onto the end but these kept coming up saying overlaps with another object. So you have to change um, toggle free mode off, then put it as close as you can get it. And then it should work, no problem at all. I think it's because there's different gates and different fences and they won't all work with each other. So whereas usually a gate and fence pack, they will link together quite neatly themselves. Uh, but I don't know if you can also see, um, well, if you look to the left hand side, I don't know if you can see, um, you've got the option to change color. So when you before you place it, if I go, Right on the D-pad, we can scroll through the different colour options available. Like so. Pick the one you want and place it. And that's the same with all of these ones on the end, the gates and the door. We do have a colour option on there as well. Very impressed with the detail on those. That's the pack of fences by Pysel. Next, we've got this. This is the Gyrax EDHV155 by Black Sheep Modding. 7.37 megabytes download, seven slots on console, 15 meter spread width. And if you want to go full bougie, you fancy yourself a bit of a superstar in the farming community, you can get yourself the black edition, limited edition. Black and gold, look at that. 
I'm sure all the farmers in your area would love you if you got one like that. <laughs> Anyhow, you'll find these under tools and under manure spreaders. The standard gyrax and the black edition, the options are exactly the same on both of them. 130 horsepower required, seven slots for the first one, which comes down to one with a 15 meter spread, spread width. So we have got the option of Trelleborg, Midas, Michelin, Nokian. Under Trelleborg, we have got those two. Under Midas, those two. Under Michelin, just that. And under Nokian, those two. Then we've got capacity 15,500 or 16,500 and a license plate option on there too. Like I say, it's exactly the same as the other one. Just the fancy version. So, we hop in and start it up. We do have the option to activate double application rates. We need to unfold first. I've got it on single application rate. So this will run at 12, but it's flashing between 12 and 13. And then if we... Activate double application rate and come back the other way. It'll put both the fertilizing states down. Again, this will depend if you're running precision farm or not, but it'll run at six miles an hour, so at half the speed. But you are getting both fertilizing states down at once. If you're running precision farming um, and you've got auto application on, it will put down the required amount you need anyway, regardless of, of um, that's and if you're running it in standard configuration. 
Lizard Crane SMV4531 TC5. That's by Hispano. You can use that. This will work with this pack. If you've got a Platinum Expansion, Platinum DLC, the wide forks that come with the Volvo wheel loader, you can pick them up and do it with that as well. Um, and then also, to transport them around, it suggests, and for best use, to use the Tipping Container Trailer Pack, also by Hispano. However, it does say in the description, you can put these onto any flatbed trailer. So it might be a bale trailer, it could be a low loader, it could be... So you can transform your flatbed, low loader, whatever it might be, bale trailer, into an incredibly versatile tool. Now the flatbed in its own right will have its, its tension straps, no problem at all. But if you want to turn it into an auto load, you can put these backs on with auto load on if you want. But there's also the option, as you've just saw up there, to have a logging version. So I've just got a regular low loader here with the logging option back on this. So I can take my normal trailer, turn it into a logging trailer, really inexpensively as well. And because you can change the options on these at a toolbox or at a workshop trigger, you can bounce around between the different configurations to do them however you want. Now this will strap down onto a low load or a flatbed trailer with the flatbed trailer's straps. But it also has its own straps. See the grooves here? There's a groove there. There's a groove there that one's already gone through. Uh, there's an extra tension strap it's given me there. Where's the other one? And one here as well. So when you've got your logs on there, you're, you don't have to use the tension straps of the trailer. There are tension straps on this as well. So... Yeah, that should have been... Why's that one going on? That's weird. There's another one here. Oh, that's going to do that one as well. But yeah, so it has got tension straps on the back of it as well. So it does make it incredibly versatile. Now, the other thing with this as, as well, with the pack, is um, you don't even have to have it on a trailer back. This will auto load on the ground. So you can put it down, you can unload next to it, you can drive it up with something on a fork, on forks, and it will auto load as well. So you don't even have to have it on a trailer back if you want, if you don't want to. This can load onto trains. So if you're on a map like Silver Run or any map that will allow the transportation of, of containers and stuff, you can load them onto trains as well if you want to. It does say for best use to load them onto this tipping trailer pack, which is kind of what it's designed for, but you know. That, of course, is up to you. If we go into, into there, into here, go to our tools and go down to miscellaneous is where you'll find them. Now, I've got the tank containers already installed, but they are here. So flat rack containers. If you've seen this pack before or any of the ones from um, this sort of set of mods before, you've got a 20 foot, 25 foot, 30 foot, 35 foot, 40 foot, 45 foot. And then you've got... Um, high cube ones as well so the the volumes the capacities change depending on which option you go for so there are quite a lot of options to look at bottom of the screen you can see scrolling past these will auto load everything every palletized thing in game they can auto load no problem at all and look at the price for a 20 foot 25 foot it starts at 2800 the 30 foot 35 3800 40 45 foot 4800 so really inexpensively you can convert a trailer you've already got into whatever options you've got on these so we start off with the 20 foot I'll, I'll the options on these are all the same other than the, the capacities but what i'll show you is the decals we've got lizard or we've got farming simulator those are two options on your decals or off of course you've got your main color of the actual container itself so you can pick whatever you want like that decal color we can change now that on here We'll do the um, the lettering and numbering on the container. But if you've gone for that, the lizard option, it will change the lizard logo as well. So decals color will do that. The reflective color, when we get onto the log um, option, that will put reflective tape onto the um, supports. We'll show that in just a moment. So if I go up now, so we've got 20 foot standard trailer. Uh, a standard back and that will have straps on it so you can put anything you want that's not auto load but you can put whatever you want on it then we go to auto load 12,000 litres standard auto load unreal 100,000 litres in the 20 foot then we've got the 20 foot with wood extensions then we go to the high cube standard auto load 18,000 litres unreal capacity 120,000 litres then the wood extension then we go to the 25 foot and as you can see these will go up standard 18,000 litre, 120,000 litre uh, Unreal, wood, uh, high cube wood extension. 
Then we've got the 25 foot high cube. 27,000 litre. 140,000 litre Unreal. And then with the wood extension as well. So that's that one. And then well, we can roll through all the same options on all these. You can have a look in them. I will, I will read them out, but you know. So same options will apply for your decals, your main colour, decal colour, reflective colour. Oh, that's what I was going to show you, wasn't I? Um, if we go to, so 30 foot standard, 21,600 litre, 150,000 litre, then the wood extension. If I now go down to reflective colour, no, reflective colour, I've got all these options for reflective colours. If I go for red, you'll see on the sides now, it's red, yellow, orange, blue. If I go for green, it's going to blend in, but and then back to white. So on those supports, that's where you get your reflective colour. Uh, so, wood extension. Then high cube, 32,400 litre, 170,000 litre. Then high cube wood, then onto the 35 foot standard, 25,200, 160,000 litre, high cube wood, high cube, 37,800, 180,000 litre, and high cube wood extension. Then back to 30 foot, then move on to the 40 standard, same in a bit, 30,000 litre, 200,000 litre wood extension. Then 40 foot high cube, standard, 45,000 litre, 220,000 litre, high cube, wood, 45 foot, standard, auto load 32,400, 210,000 unreal, high cube, 48,600, and then 240,000 litre. So the maximum capacity of any of them is this, the 45 foot high cube auto load unreal. 240,000 litres. Now, what I will say is for the auto load on this, unlike a regular trailer where you can put your different pallets on and it will show down the bottom right hand on your screen what you've got on that trailer, the auto load trailers, like every auto load trailer, will only load one thing at a time. You can't load up different pallets of different things onto it. So... The Unreal capacity is great. I suppose it depends what you're transporting. I'm just thinking to have 240,000 litres worth of a particular product. I guess people do, and it gives you the option then to transport it. So, Or you might have stored it away, and you might have loads and loads stored, and think, I'm going to move it all in one go. This will give you the option to do it. Then we go back to uh, high cube wood, and then back to the 40 foot. So... Those are all the options. I'm not going to go through all the options on the lead pair, on the crane and stuff. We've done more reviews than those before. Um, but this one, I've got on the tipper trailer back. Now, we can't unload straight from here, so I've got to be careful. The tension straps, if you've got an auto load, are automatic. You don't do anything with those. Once you start loading onto this, the tension straps will appear. If I unload... it will start reloading again straight away so you've got to kind of be a bit sharpish on that on your unload but as you can see once I get back next to it it auto loads back on this one I've got unreal capacity on it this was a 20 foot I think it was or was it 30 it might be a 30 foot I think I think I've got a 20 foot on the wheel loader now what I wanted to check and test was off the back of this you can see it's loading from the ground no problem at all whether or not it will give me the option to unload in the cell point or whether I need to unload. Ah, so I did wonder whether or not it would automatically unload or whether it would give me the option to unload. You'd have to actually... Oh, there we go. Start overloading fabric. I was sure I just wasn't on the back. So at the cell point, automatic unload. Job done. Oh, that was a hefty old bit of money. And with this trailer as well, once you're done with it, I can detach it, which is now that's off the back of it. I can come over with my wheel loader, my lead pair, my crane, whatever I want to do, take it off the back, put it on the floor. Like I said, it will auto load from the floor, plus you can stack these up. They will automatically adjust and sit themselves directly on top of each other, so you haven't got to be too precise with it, and you can't stack different sizes. If you're going to stack them 20 foots with 20 foots, 30 foots with 30s, 35s with 35s, you can't mix and match. For them to work properly you need to stack the same sizes on top of each other. So I can come along with whatever I want now. Probably forks will be better. Lift that up, but it'll work with the other ones. 
any of those. Actually, you know what? I should really do it just to show you. I'll do this as well. Let's undo the tension straps on that. That doesn't have to attach or detach because it's just tension held on with tension straps. So let's grab the crane. I just find these things absolutely brilliant. So I'll drop that one down, detach that. So I should be able to, well, he says. Okay, I'm sure I had this on one of the other ones before. That should not have picked up the entire trailer. How do I get off now? Huh, I can't. Well, there you go. Only by checking and testing do these things rear their ugly heads. Be wary of that. If you're going to unload off the back of one of these trailers using that, that might happen. I wasn't expecting it to. I'm not happy that it did. If I detach that, will it drop off? Ooh. Okay, well, let's leave that as it is. So what I'll do now is I'll use the, the wheel loader. So the wheel loader, again, it should, I say it should, it might not unload directly into the cell point, but it's worth a check. Again, all these things, you don't know until you try them. Whoa, okay, I don't intend doing that. That's the only trouble. I don't think you're supposed to really travel long distances with it on forks, but... There's not much time there, they're not that kind of... Yeah, that's bad. Hmm. So yeah, it, that's what it does say. It's designed to work on these trailers. So you can move it around on these, but if you want to unload, it's not going to unload off of forks. That seems to be rather obvious now. So what we'll do is drop that down. But as you can see, you can transport it. I'll take the other one off the other trailer, and then I'll show you it loading off, auto-loading from the ground off this one. Because I detached it, I can take it off. And then what we'll do, we'll bring it over to the stuff that's already on the floor. And it should, when well, it's at ground level. There you go. You should be able to do as well there's no reason at all why you can have one of these sat in a yard and then when you're getting your pallets from a production chain just drive it over to here and it will auto load straight onto that trailer then when it's full load it up onto a trailer back a flatbed whatever you want to take it off wherever, wherever you want to go i like i like this i like this option let's say the fact you don't have to use this back although that that is worrying <laughs> why does nothing ever go how it's supposed to in my head anyway um, it's a very cool pack. That is the Flat Rack Containers by Hispano and 82 Studios. Have a play around with it, I'm sure you'll find all sorts of fantastic uses for it. I like the logging option. 
as well. I mean, I like auto load, but I like the logging option. I like the fact that you can put it onto a flatbed or whatever you want, and you've, you've got yourself a logging trailer, nice and cheap. I, I think that's brilliant. Or have a load of those just sat down on the ground, and you can bring all your lumber to it, put your logs into it, then just load them onto a trailer and take them off when you're good to go. So you only need one of those or a, a an other. Um, and then have a load of those, nice and cheap, sat down at your logging point. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to see a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.